Oh, the sweet, sweet irony. The state of Maine forced to delay a vote on EV mandates after a storm nearly knocked out the whole state's power grid. Uh, the vote will be rescheduled for early February, giving those draconian liberals over a month to rethink forcing their residents into uh, electric vehicles without the infrastructure to support them. Join us now, our friend up in Maine, who has been against the mandate from day one, John Barkley. John, good to see you. Um, so, listen, you lose power. These vehicles are powered by electricity. What is the feeling on the, on the ground in Maine about this effort to move your state to a, 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 a complete EV um, structure? Well, my personal opinion is, and, and thank you for having me tonight, by the way. I really appreciate being here. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you all. Uh, before I answer that question, I do want to give a shout out to my main peeps up here. Uh, Representative Katrina Smith, uh, Ben Himes, Reagan Paul, and Representative Mike Soboleski, who is running for senator that's going to unseat Jared Golden here in 24. We're right behind him. To answer your question, uh, since day one, it has not been a popular uh, idea here at all. Uh, and this storm that we just had, I know that there's people that are still without power, uh, and, and it just kind of reaffirmed what we've always knew. Uh, about the, the problems with the EV. So I'm, I'm kind of delighted that there was a wake-up call given to certain people this past week, namely the three people on the uh, BEP who chose uh, in favor of trying to have us turn into California and follow their mandates. But is this going to reverse this decision? And just to be clear, this is the Bureau of Environmental Protection. This decision to go electric for automobiles was made with no vote. That's correct. Uh, as I mentioned a few months ago, it was 150 signatures on a petition presented straight to the board. Uh, they're discussing it, and basically we had five people make the decision for the entire state of Maine without really doing a contrast and comparison of studies of both quantitative and qualitative data to, to realize that we are way different than the people that live in California. And even within Maine, the rural areas are way different than you see in what few cities we have here in Maine. Uh, so this vote, I was gonna show up a couple of days ago for this thing, but uh, it was canceled. So I'll be there come uh, this next discussion and uh, we'll see which way this thing goes. But I don't believe, you know, I, I think that this thing is accumulating momentum to be defeated, but that's just my humble opinion. Well, John, listen, I, live in, I lived in rural Wisconsin and these uh, types of vehicles don't work in rural America. Um, they just they, they don't. And I don't think uh, these these politicians um, who appoint these appoint these board members are going to change course until they lose their jobs. There has to be consequences yep. for for des decisions they make that don't fit the will of the people they represent. And until that happens, I think we as a country, you as a state are going to be stuck with these policies. Um, is there that effort real quick in your state to um, get new leadership, bring in new uh, members of your legislature? The effort is there, and it's gaining momentum. And I, you know, I don't want to liken us to Pearl Harbor, but and and what the uh, Japanese commander over there said when they've awakened the the sleeping giant. But I know I'm getting loud. Other people are getting loud. But we need to get active. We have to mm -hmm. actually show up and vote. We've got to get it off our laurels and uh, really get busy on the ground team here to to get things going and changing in our direction. And I'm I'm positive thinking about that. Right on. Thank you so much. It's always great to see you, John Barkley. You be well and fight, fight. Merry Christmas. Thank Merry you Christmas. all very much.